The city is 484 square miles. It's got a population of 844,000. Of those, 49% of white, and it went down the racial issues, the breakdown on the, on the races. It's a diverse city. It has everything, anything I could be interested in, fire prevention, arson, any direction I could ever want to be is here for me. You hear those answers? When they ask you why you want to come to work for the city, get ready to go with it. And along with that is what do you know about that city? Now that might not be asked, but if you can pack it in there, I just gave you some statistics. If you can pack that in there, you're telling them what you know about the city. Likewise, if you can find out something that's unique about this city, one of our candidates was testing in a city and he found out that there was going to be a Spanish-speaking association started within that department. He was Spanish-speaking. He used that on his oral board. He got hired. What do you like to do? Tell them your hobbies. Have some, please. Have a life. You know, don't go out there when they ask you that question, you just go, I just want to be a firefighter. You can't have that. What are your strengths or weaknesses? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Strengths? These could be attributes. They ask them in different ways. Motivated. Motivated. Dependable, reliable. Responsible. Responsible. Meticulous. Careful with that one. Careful with that one because that means if you're meticulous yourself, you expect other people to be. Skills is in like a foreign language. Skills? Sure. Strength. One of the questions asked on a department was, what skill can you bring to this department when you start you on tomorrow? What would that be? Sign language. Sign language. Gosh. We're going to hire you. What else? Adaptability. Adaptability. Sure. But a skill you could use today, what would it be? If you had EMT? If you had wildland experience? Urban intermix? A weakness. What is your weakness? And you've got to be careful with this. People say, well, make a strength out of your weakness. Like, my weakness is I'm too conscientious. I'm a workaholic. No, you know, that's overused. I, I had a woman tell me one time, I said, well, what is your weakness? She says, besides chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But find out what that weakness is. Use it. I had a candidate tell me, I'm uncomfortable speaking in a group, so I'm taking a public speaking course. The other candidate told me, I'm not a good speller. What would your boss tell, say about you that's positive or negative? See, this is a question they can find out more about you than they can about your boss. They say, well, what, what, what would your boss say about you? Or what do you say about your boss? Oh, that ass, you know. <laughs> Where do I start, you know, starting with pay? You know, they'll say, we know who the ass is. Be careful. Be careful. That's a trick question. Not a trick question, but they just find out more about you. They care about, less about your boss. Then comes the magic question at the closing. They're going to say, well, we're done. Do you have anything to add? I know people to profess that you say you bring in the band. You know, you run off with this thing and you drive us nuts. I had a candidate one day that read me every certificate he ever got. You know, couldn't believe he was doing this. Here's what I recommend. Once you have your script, you've got it down, you know where it's at. You know every section of your script. You've just done, done the outline for it. This will become your script. Scan your menu like a computer. If there's anything major in there that, that they didn't ask you about, like they didn't ask you what you've done to prepare, and you've got some good stuff in there, you can say, in closing, or you can mention that. Yes, I call it showtime. You know this play we're auditioning for? This firefighter job that we're auditioning for? When they say, do you have anything to add, and you know there's something there, I call it showtime. Da -dun -da -dun -dun -dun, hit it. Da -da -dun 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 -dun. You come out, hey, you know, top hat going, and you give them what they didn't cover. Don't beat them up with it, but give them the high points. If you've done the scan <clears throat> and there's nothing there, give them a simple closing of thank you for allowing me to get this far in the process. Please don't use this because everybody is. Uh, 
I hope to be continuing on with the process and with the qualifications I've outlaid to you, I hope that I'm qualified to continue on. Something very simple. Please don't use the time for repair work. In other words, you feel you stumble on a question, you say, by the way, I want to go back to this one here. And you start doing repair work and they ask you another question and you dig a deeper hole. How are you going to feel then? Leave it alone. 